if you manage to get those vector icons into PowerPoint, you can edit their points. And this is amazing because you can right click and select edit points here, or you click on this object, you go to format and you have edit shape on the left side. Normally you can change the shape, but here you would like to edit its points. As you can see, for example, in this vector object, we have a lot of points. You can still, if you are precise, add new points, you can adjust them, and we have three different types of points. It's a matter of clicking around and using them a bit around, but basically you can smooth this out or you can corner out those points. You can right click select smooth, straight or corner. If I click corner, it will snap back to being a perfect corner. If I make it smooth or straight, boom, I have a nice line like that. So it depends on what do you want to achieve, but there is no perfect way to use it. It's a bit clunky, but I wanted to show you with that, that even if you insert any given shape, for example, you have a shape like that with my shift key, I make sure that it's on perfect proportions, but you would like a little change here. No problem. Right click, edit point, boom, add point, and that's the problem. You sometimes click away. But I'll just go back, edit points, I wanted to add another point, boom, make it a corner point, boom. And in a few mouse clicks, we made something like that, we changed this shape, and well, it's not perfect, it's a bit difficult to work with that in PowerPoint, and PowerPoint is definitely not the perfect software for vector objects and editing those points and adjusting them. This is not Illustrator, but it's possible and at least we have the possibility to, to, to do something. At least we have that. We can edit points. We can, for example, make this a hole. We can delete points. Oh, not like that. You can, of course, right click and delete points if you want to make a bigger change to your object. I would need to adjust this a little bit, but it would be possible to cover this up in gray just by clicking and removing some points. This is something very important to remember. We might use that as well when we edit our, our slides later on. So be prepared with that. In this lesson, you should grab a shape, edit a few points of this shape, or grab a vector icon and edit a few points of this vector icon. Thanks for your attention in this lesson. I hope this was helpful and informative and we will see each other in the next one.